No collusion with Russia. Well, the RNC is calling the attorney general's summary of the special counsel report a great day for all Americans. Uh, though Democrats say that there are still serious questions about the issue of obstruction. Joining us now, RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. Great to have you with us tonight. Thanks for having me. Great to be with you. Okay, so let's start with your counterparts over the DNC tweeting this. More Americans deserve answers. We can't trust the president or his team's word when it comes to this story, which is why we need to see the Mueller report. And as I just talked about with former Congressman Delaney, who's running in 2020, there has been this uh, uniform assessment that Mueller was going to be fair. He's to be trusted. We have to wait for the report. But now that his report's been summarized by the attorney general, who, of course, is nominated by President Trump, there are questions about the letter we saw today. How do you answer those doubts? Well, I'm not surprised that Democrats are continuing to try and cast shadows over this presidency. They've never accepted the results of the 2016 election. But I do think it's important that we look back at history and what's happened to cause this report. First, the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC funded this fake dossier that went to the FBI that precipitated a two-year investigation of our president that now has resulted in what we knew there was no collusion with Russia. So why have the American American people had to pay 25 million in taxpayer dollars. There have been 2,800 subpoenas. This has been such a, a an ongoing investigation that has hurt this presidency. The Democrats have tried to use it to delegitimize this president. They have lied to the American public. Chairman Schiff and Chairman Nadler have said that there were going to be charges of collusion. The Democrats owe the president an apology, and they also owe the American people the opportunity to move on. Let's put this behind us and let's focus on the things that voters really want us to do in Washington, which is make their lives better and pass laws that are going to help this country. Okay, so let me put up something. This is a Fox News poll. It was taken in the days before we got the report, obviously today, that says no collusion of any kind. Um, when people were asked whether they think the Trump campaign coordinated with Russia at our last polling, uh, again, before the result today, 44% said yes, 42% said no. Now, going into 2020, do you think those numbers were changed now that we have a number, although People on both sides say they're not going to be moved by the report. They're not going to change their assessment of the president based on what the Mueller report says. How do you convince more voters uh, as the president runs for reelection uh, that this assumption that they've made, at least in this poll, is wrong? Well, absolutely, the Mueller report and the findings of this report that say there was no collusion. They actually go so far to say that there were attempts by the Russians to collude with the uh, Trump campaign and that the Trump campaign did not uh, follow through with those and that no American citizen colluded with Russia. So I think that's really important that this, this report has concluded and that those uh, conclusions were decisive in saying that there's no collusion. But I do think there has to be an overall look at the media, at the Democrat Party, at the leaders in the Democrat Party, why did they continue to try and delegitimize this president? Why do we even have to have this investigation for two years based on a fake dossier paid by the DNC and Hillary Clinton? It's shameful. It's bad for our democracy. I'm pleased with the results today. They're great. But like you said, look at that poll. That's what they did. They tried to cast a shadow over this presidency who was elected by the American people in 2016. Democrats have never accepted the results of that election. So they've put the these investigations forward, they're just going to continue to do that. The American people are smarter than that now, and they're going to look at the Democrats and know what they're up to, because this, this report exonerated our president, and it also shows that the Democrats aren't out there to help the American people at all. They're just there to hurt Donald Trump and win in 2020. Okay, I want to play something in for you and then get a, a quick uh, response. This is from Tom Perez, who heads the DNC, who said, listen, I've worked on these kinds of things. The wording today doesn't mean that the president is not guilty of something. Um, here's what he said. I was part of the team in Republican and Democratic administrations preparing those reports. And frequently when we declined a case, we declined it because, not because we didn't have major concerns, but we declined it because we made a conclusion that we couldn't uh, find beyond a reasonable doubt that the allegations were uh, provable. So, and that's, a, that's very different. He says that's something very different. What do you say? 
Okay, well, that's the standard of law is beyond a reasonable doubt. So clearly, the Mueller team did not find anything beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, in fact, the Mueller team came forward and said there is absolutely no evidence of collusion. And Attorney General Barr came out and said there was no obstruction of justice. Because how can you obstruct justice when there was no crime? Because the president did not collude. So uh, the Democrats are going to try and uh, drag this out. We've already seen this. They're not going to accept the results of this report that they fought so hard to protect protect and preserve that the president never stood in the way of. But boy, isn't it time for them to come together with the president and say, maybe now we should work on behalf of the American people we've elected to, stir, to serve. Are, are they going to legislate or are they going to investigate? And we're starting to see the path that they're going to go down. Republicans are going to continue to bring jobs back to this country, fund our military, defeat ISIS, which we had this great accomplishment this week. These are the things that the president's focused on. The, the Democrats are continuing this uh, investigation path path and dividing our country, and I don't think that's going to win for them in the long term. Well, I don't think the investigations are going away anytime soon, though nope. this one has wrapped. Ronna McDaniel, chair of the RNC, thank you for stopping in. Thanks for having me, Shannon.